This is our new home for the week, a very cheeky retro motorhome. Moldy utensils. Typically, we are at home traveling around in our VW T4 camper van, which is much smaller than this one. In the background, I've kind of been pushing for maybe we should get a bigger <laughs> van for a little while. So the idea behind this was to test out something a little bit bigger, but we also had to go retro. Have <laughs> you given us any kind of information on what to do? This is the space that we are going to be living in, in Ireland, and drive around exploring in over the next few days. This is horrible. I think this is a very realistic insight into our lives. Let's go take a look inside. <laughs> this is it. Instantly as you come in, you get hit by the smell of the 70s. <laughs> and this wasn't even made in the 70s. <laughs> Our luggage is all up here, and if this was in our camper van back home, it would take up all of the space. Yeah, all of it. <laughs> it is so nice. This feels like a mansion. You could definitely swing a cat in here. A very out of date mansion. <laughs> Okay, so let me show you the facilities that we've got here. So Al's already shown you the bed at the top. This sofa section down here turns into another double bed. Then at the back, we have a 12 volt television, which of course we don't have in our van. So this is a luxury. We also have a whole cooking station here. So we've got a sink and a stovetop cooker. The fridge is just here and then behind me, we have our shower, toilet, and sink area. This already is such a huge upgrade to what we're used to. I'm kind of looking forward to peeing in here for the first time. <laughs> the second we walked in, we just couldn't believe how much space that there was in here. Yeah. And it isn't actually that big, but somehow they've managed to cram a lot into a very small space. Yeah. We also have a bunch of storage. All of these cupboards along the top on both sides are storage. We've got a huge wardrobe here with a full length, full length mirror, um, as well as all of the cupboards around the back in the kitchen area back here. So there's plenty of space to store our stuff as well. But that is it for the tour. It didn't take very long. Next up is actually driving this thing. <laughs> How is it? This is horrible! <laughs> it's all over the place! It's glitchy! It's... Oh my god, I am actually really, really scared! This is the hardest vehicle I've ever driven! Whoa! Whoa! How was it to drive? Horrible. It was actually really horrible to drive, which surprises me because I usually really like driving old things. The handling is just dreadful. Like it's all over the place. And obviously it's a big rig as well. So in the wind, it's extra hard to maneuver. Ah! Oh, somebody's awake. <laughs> <laughs> but on the bright side, it's a really bumpy drive, which means we have guaranteed sleeping baby. <laughs> it's just weed and now she can't find the flush. She's freaking out. I am freaking out because I'm... <laughs> Back here? No, that's a sink. <laughs> oh dear. Because <laughs> if you can't flush it, you're going to have to get a cup and scoop it out. They haven't given us any instructions for this stuff, have yeah, they? Yeah, but they gave us cups. <laughs> have they? <laughs> oh. Oh, should I turn the pump back on? Yeah. Okay, I don't think it actually does anything. I hate stuff like this. That makes no sense. Well, it's not all bad. And we've just pulled over so I could start Googling and try and find a place for the night. And then it, we've stumbled across a car park specifically for camper vans. And you just pay 10 euros for 24 hours and then you can stay here. And we're in the town that we wanted to come and visit anyway. And we're right on the waterfront. I think it's an absolute jackpot. I've never seen anything like this. So I'm wondering, is the rest of island van life gonna be this easy?
feel like we're going to discover many oddities about this van over the next few days and the one that we've just most recently discovered is there are no covers for the front of the van <laughs> <laughs> so you've got curtains for the side so no one can see on the side but they can just walk around the front and see straight in <laughs> and we insist being naked in our camper van <laughs> at all times <laughs> yeah so we're not willing to compromise when the camera's off the clothes are off too <laughs> but this is actually quite a busy walking path so it's kind of weird and i don't really want to sit in the dark <laughs> at 7 p.m maybe it's like instead of watching tv we can just watch people go by and it's interactive <laughs> you might get them responding to you oh ow yeah moldy utensils well, i think it's to go with the retro theme <laughs> oh my god that 70s feel oh maybe that's yeah, what the smell like, hasn't been washed since the 70s yeah maybe that's what the smell of the 70s was when we got in here what musty mold <laughs> that sounds healthy Okay, we'll keep those locked away in the cupboard where we can't breathe it in. Oh my god, everything in here has mould on it. The pots and pans, the frying pan. Let's see. I don't want to like touch it too much, but like see all around the handle and all on the side. It's all mould. Well, I think mould in a small space is completely fine. Yeah. But if you just close those cupboards, then we can kind of ignore it. I know, but I was hoping to be able to use these pots and pans. Oh, that's so gross. So we've had a quick little rummage around everything, like the cupboards, around the bed, like all the soft furnishings, and we haven't found any more mould. So it does seem to be confined to the utensils and the kitchen equipment. So we're just going to lock that cupboard shut and not open it or use it. Yeah, we're a bit worried about being in this space <laughs> with him. Yeah, like, if there was other mould elsewhere. Like in the past, we would just be like, eh, just a bit of mould. <laughs> but <laughs> when it comes to his health, obviously we have to be a bit more cautious. Yeah. As far as I'm aware, everything is fine. Yeah, everything that we can see seems fine. And it doesn't smell mouldy. No, it just smells like 70s. That cupboard does smell mouldy. <laughs> <laughs> Tired mom and dad. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to eat. He just wants to play with everything. <laughs> That's our food. <laughs> I bought some Maltesers earlier from Tesco's, <laughs> but <laughs> they've all fallen out inside this Tesco bag. <laughs> Look at my big. Is that all that's in there? <laughs> it's just Maltesers <laughs> in here. He's gonna eat it from the Tesco and I'm bag. way too lazy <laughs> to put them back in there. I mean, it's, logically, it's just a bigger bag to have them from. <laughs> so <laughs> now. Imagine you eating out of that at the cinema. <laughs> Full to the problems. brim. <laughs> Loose sweets. I keep getting really relaxed and really enjoying myself in here. And then <laughs> the illusion is broken every time when someone else walks past and they'll just see me just like eating some food. <laughs> and it just keeps blowing my mind how silly this is. You have that awkward moment of eye contact with them where <laughs> neither of you want to be looking at each other. <laughs> And then, and then they don't smile, so I don't <laughs> smile. So I just have a straight face, like. With a bit of salami hanging out of your mouth. <laughs> I just look like this weird, serious guy under my camper van. <laughs> I also understand that we could turn the van round because less people will be walking on the other side. Well, we've parked it up now. <laughs> but yeah, we've already parked. to change it. <laughs> It is bedtime now and Emma and Noah are taking the big bed and little old me is going to squeeze up in this <laughs> cubby hole up here. <laughs> Good night guys. <laughs> well, this is fun. Where did Daddy go? 
Hello. Hello. Your sleepover. Yeah, he's in the bunk bed. Hello. Oh. Good night, team. We are really pleased to be working again with our friends over at HelloFresh. HelloFresh is a handy service that delivers fresh, pre-measured ingredients directly to your door. We really love to get a box delivered for when we arrive back from a trip so that we don't have to think about meal planning or going to the supermarket when we're feeling tired from a day of travel. They have expanded their menu to include a bunch more wholesome, warming dishes which are just perfect for these cooler, darker evenings. They have a bunch of different ranges available such as their super quick range which we are a huge fan of because they can be done in less than 15 minutes but what we're doing today is one of their special meals because we're having a bit of a date night in so we have gone for the pesto crusted salmon with lemon aioli and roast potatoes which sounds perfect for this autumn evening new recipes are always being added and there are over 44 recipes to choose from each week so it never gets boring the price of the meals start at just £3.15 per portion, and that's before you apply any discount, which leads very nicely on to the discount we have for you guys today. 60% off your first box, plus an extra 25% off the next two months of boxes, as well as free desserts for life. If you're interested in this offer, we will leave a link down in the description below or scan the QR code that's on the screen right now and use the code BEANS2023 to get your discount. Morning. Good morning. How are you guys down there? Very tired. <laughs> oh, yeah, this one's great though. I think um, he slept better than me. <laughs> seal what a way to start the morning get out of the van and there's a seal just waiting for us at our disposal you see it yeah it was huge <laughs> so cool also some really cool military boats it looks like the quintessential boat that you'd play on the game battleships i'm gonna go and take the little man into the town and give emma some much needed rest and sleep <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty exhausted yeah. and I feel like if we want to actually enjoy the day ahead, I should probably have a little bit more sleep. Yeah, so get, get. <laughs> you could feel dead. Right. Bye. Bye guys. I am loving the Irish people already. Someone's just come up to me and said, hey, I see you dead, exhausted dead. All you need is a siesta and some football. And uh, that sounds pretty good. We are in the town of Cove. I believe the BH sound is a V like Siobhan. And this place has a really interesting history, actually. It was the final port of call for the Titanic before it set off to the US. It also played a huge role in the migration of the Irish over to the US with I think over two and a half million people leaving from here and going over there. And the very first person that was registered on Ellis Island was from this town. This town is ridiculously beautiful and I love all the coloured houses, it really adds to the place. I must imagine they kind of have to keep it like this because surely they haven't all come together to collaborate and say, okay, I'm going to take the red, you take the green. But something I found really interesting is that they have post boxes just like we have in the UK, but they're green. I love these little subtle differences.
I got two sips of my coffee. I think this is a very realistic insight into our lives at the moment and how life has changed and just in the in-between bits of life is trying to get him to sleep and her to sleep. <laughs> I have been walking around for about three hours now and I've done about 20,000 steps so actually it's pretty good for you. <laughs> so I'm actually just going to sit and rest for a while there seems to be a bit of a gun show going on over the water and I've been learning that over there there is the Irish equivalent to Alcatraz with a prison on. I started to fly the drone and learned pretty quickly that that is a military base and I definitely don't want to do that so I landed it as soon as I could. Yeah? <laughs> I feel so much better. waking up somewhere and you just got like the sound of the lapping waves on the shore fresh that kind of air that has like that seaweedy smell to it like you know you're by the sea sound of seagulls in the background I love it so peaceful wow wow <laughs> someone's awake <laughs> I am definitely of the brain type of someone to just sort of go, go, go and I think I'm maybe guilty of trying to cram in too much into a short space of time. Oh really? And uh, <laughs> I think things like having the baby but also even coming to a place as calm and still as this mm. that actually kind of makes you stop and we were about to go off and do more things but I think kind of we're just craving some stillness for a change and uh, we have a nice place that we can stay and uh, feel welcome and comfortable here so I think we're just going to stay for another night and that's one thing that I really love about this way of travel in a camper van or motorhome is that you're in charge of your itinerary you can do whatever you like and you can have sort of the the ultimate itinerary of things that you really want to do but you can always chop and change things at the last minute and it's really not a problem because you're in charge I've been teaching Emma the history of this place and there's actually quite a weird sense of sadness mm. being here with the statue behind of the first people to emigrate. It's uh, it's we're very light hearted on this channel usually. Yeah. But yeah, there is like the Irish people have been through so much over basically the course of history and you can kind of feel it. You can see it all in this one place when you see you know all the signs for um, different different points in history where they've really struggled and it's um, it's heartbreaking yeah all these people are trying to make a better life for themselves and like the Titanic the famine it's just like thing after thing but I guess yeah. it's kind of just human history in general and now we're in this period that although it feels like everything's going wrong in society we're probably the safest the most comfortable we've ever been mm. and uh, yeah, it's a At good place. Right here in yeah. Cobb. In Cobb Cove. Cove. In <laughs> Cove. <laughs> yeah, but definitely a really nice place to come and reflect.
I think spending time in a space this size has really highlighted to me how much we need a bigger van. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we we're already kind of feeling that way after doing the stealth challenge, but now being in this space and having space for him to be able to crawl around and climb things, it's just been really, really, really nice. In the background, I've kind of been pushing for maybe we should get a bigger van <laughs> for a little while, but the boss, understandably, because she <laughs> built the van, is very, very reluctant, but I can kind of sense that maybe you're starting to let go a I'm little definitely, bit. Definitely, yeah, and I think... I don't know, maybe it's because it's the end of the year and it's sort of, it feels like always with the new year, you have kind of like new plans for the next year and you can kind of see what you want to change in your life, what you want to do better at, all these things. And I feel like maybe it is time to let go a little bit of that van. As much sentimental value as it has, you know, we found out we we're pregnant in that van. Um, we did our first trip camper vanning with him in the van. I feel like you guys have been telling us for years that that van's <laughs> not big enough. Maybe we've been stubborn <laughs> and we refuse to listen. The but. thing is, when it's just us, I feel like that space is more than enough, especially in the summertime when you have the outdoors, which we spend most of the time in anyway. Mm -hmm. But in the winter with him, and especially now that he's climbing and crawling and all these things, and he's only going to get more active. It's time. <laughs> I think one thing we don't often capture on camera is just how lovely the people are and the interactions we have with them on a day-to-day -day basis when we're traveling like this. And we have met so many lovely people since the second we stepped foot in Ireland. We've just had nothing but kindness and it's been so, so lovely. We're having such a blast that currently we're taking our, <laughs> our babies home. <laughs> we've got this little man <laughs> and then we've got these little two buddies over here. <laughs> Pizza's in the pram! <laughs> We really hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with us on this very slow paced van life intro to Ireland. If you liked the video, give it a big fat thumbs up and let us know down in the comments, have you been to Ireland and where should we go? If you're interested in our HelloFresh discount, make sure to check out the link that's down in the description below. And nothing left to say, but thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time and I'm gonna have to clamber over. <laughs> Beans out. <laughs>